Soul music is really about a feeling. It's not really about overdoing it or trying to be flashy. It's really about trying to capture the emotion that you're feeling. All right, so before we get started, and if you're a producer and want to learn more about production every week, twice a week, please hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the Trek Architects channel. This one, I, I, I was in a good mood, just in a good mood. Just like the last drill song I made, I start off with a theme. I wanna like capture some of those emotions. I wanna feel like there's like some choir singing in the background, trumpets off here, people just dancing down the street like a weird commercial for Rogaine. So when I start off this song, I start off with a very generic piano. I start off with the chords. This one's a little funky because I started this one out with just five notes and not chords, just notes. I use this thing called quarter from Studio one if you guys want to learn how to use that it's a one minute video i'm gonna link it up here but the simple explanation is you press one note it plays chords magical i use it because i'm not really good with 11th or 13th chords i'm really just a triad guy i start off with the chords just to get the basis just to get that emotional feel and i was playing around with chords and i found these these pairings that just worked well with each other. And then once I got these chords, I wanna start playing around and see what kind of melody I can craft out of this one. This one isn't like the normal one chunk, one chunk, one chunk. I was actually playing on a keyboard and just trying to experiment with the sounds that I found. But from that point, I just wanna build out a very basic drum loop. So I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna start off with a basic kick. I'm gonna add a simple snare perk snap kind of thing that's really just going to add more of that emotional feel of i'm happy like everybody's so i'm just going to fill out this drum pattern i'm going to add a few more snares just to add a different texture to my sounds i'm going to add an open hat as well this open hat is going to lead into that first snare and it's just going to give it more snap and then from that point i find this perk that feels like it can fit in here it just fits it fits right I don't know how to explain it. It just felt right. Hey, yo. The one open hat's not adding enough groove. So I'll find these two other open hats so I can add them in there. And I just find them on like this offbeat where it feels like it just moves into the next bar. And then from that point, I just want to layer that with a ride and oversell that part. What I think carries most of the weight in soul music is really the bass. It's just, it adds that groove. It makes you dance to it. Just like any other song, I'm gonna try to find the root notes. When using quarter, it doesn't print the notes that it plays. It only shows you within quarter. When you're playing the chord progression within quarter, you have to look at the notes to find out which one's the root note. And sometimes the note in the lowest register isn't always the root note. So you gotta play around with that a little bit. That's a little, I wish there was a workaround for that, but that's the only way I found. If anyone else knows anything, please let me know down in the comments. So I'm gonna start off with a very basic pattern here and I'm just gonna like work with it. You know, I'm really just gonna try to find the places in which the bass line can really shine. She wanted to like actually flow with the music. So once I got pretty much the bare bones of the track, I got the drums, I got the bass, I got the chords and I got this melody. I want to start building out this counter melody just to make it interesting as the song goes on. I'm not going to do nothing crazy, just literally a few notes just to give the melody a little oomph to it. This is the full track. If you guys like it, please let me know down in the comments. I really do appreciate that. And as always, thank you for watching my videos.